Hello and welcome. Wouldn't it be fantastic whenever reading an electronic version of any academic, scholarly or scientific article that was written in LaTeX, that when browsing the references, you look at articles that you might find be of interest to you and you say, hmm, this, this article here, I'd love to know more about it, read this abstract. You could actually click on the title and it would open up the home page of that article on the official publisher site. Wouldn't that be fantastic? And there you can read the abstract, you can get your DOI, the official document object identifier, or if you want to cite the article yourself, you can get the BibTeX reference and so on. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. And for these three simple articles, I'm going to show you how, could be, how it can be done in less than three minutes, i.e. very quickly. In a previous video, I've shown you how to cite and manage references in LaTeX using the free and open source and excellent bibliography reference manager called Jabref. Also, in a previous video, I showed you how to create hyperlinks in a LaTeX document. And specifically, you need to ensure that you use the package hyper, hyperref, that this command is present in your LaTeX document. Okay. So without further ado, let's begin. The first thing is to go to your Jabref, open up your bibliography, and for each article that you want to link to the DOI, i.e. to your official homepage in the publisher site, simply go to the title section, control C, go to um, google.com, search for Google Scholar, and then within Google Scholar, paste in your article title. Perfect. And then once it comes up, select it. And then navigate that page and look for the DOI entry. And in this case, it's here. So I'm going to right click over it, select copy link location, then go back to my jab ref. And then in the title section, I'm going to put the cursor at the very start. I'm then going to type backslash H or EF, and then open uh, curly brace, paste in the DOI and close curly brace. So basically I put in a H reference to the DOI, the web link of the DOI, then click save. And that's it, believe it or not. So let me go to, uh, back to my text studio. I'm going to recompile the document. And as you can see, the first link is a hyperlink. And if I click on it, it brings me to it. That's it. So I promised in less than three minutes, but I've actually done it in less than one minute. <laughs> so let's continue on for the other two entries. So generating cubes, literally highlight the title, go to Google Scholar, um, and then paste it in. It should come up as the only entry. Click on it. Find the DOI entry. There it is. Right click over it. Suggest, select copy link location. Then navigate back to your text, uh, your sorry, Jabref manager. And again, put the cursor at the very beginning, type backslash href, open curly brace, paste in the value and close curly brace and save. And let me do it for the final entry, which is scooter. So once again, copy the title, go to Google Scholar, paste in the value of the title, search for it, should it be one entry, select it. In this case, it's Springer, so you need to look for the DOI. So let's scroll down until we find it. Um, oops, and there it is at the very end. So I simply highlight and select it, Control C, go back to Jab Ref, again, back to the start of the title entry, slash, backslash, href, open curly brace, paste, close curly brace, and save. Now, finally, I'll go back to my Tech Studio recompile, rebuild the document and compile it. And there you go, the three links. So let me click on something I haven't clicked before, for example, scooter. And there it brings me as we've seen. But the beauty is now, anybody, when we pass around to our friends or colleagues or when we publish the electronic version, any person reading the electronic version can simply click on the links and then read, for example, the abstract, if they want to know more about it, or they can retrieve the biblia bibliographic or BibTech um, entry, and there's no more Googling 
it's very simple, it's very easy, and it'd be fantastic if everybody in the scientific community adopted this approach. So guys, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Thank you.